Welcome to another great video by Exam Sam Study Aids and Media. In this video, we're going to look at subjunctive examples with subjunctive mood exercises in English grammar. This video is on subjunctive examples with subjunctive mood exercises. Subjunctive examples are given at the beginning of this video. You will then see the exercises. Now look at the subjunctive examples and categories that follow before you try the exercises at the end of the video. In this video, you're going to look at how to use the subjunctive mood. The subjunctive is often used to give advice in this form. If I were you. Now, let's look at some more subjunctive examples, particularly was versus were in expressions. The word you in if I were you can be replaced by the phrases in your shoes, in your position, or in your situation. The phrases in your position or in your situation have a higher level of formality than in your shoes, which is considered quite informal. Here are some examples of how to use the subjunctive mood in this way. If I were in your shoes, I would speak to the professor about the problem. If I were in your position, I would speak to the professor about the problem. If I were in your situation, I would speak to the professor about the problem. Now let's look at these subjunctive examples of was versus were at the head of the sentence. You can put the word were first in the sentence. On the next screen, there are some additional examples showing how to construct the sentence by beginning with were. Were I you, I would speak to the professor about the problem. Were I in your position, I would speak to the professor about the problem. Were I in your situation, I would speak to the professor about the problem. Now here are some subjunctive mood examples of was versus were with as if and as though. When we use as if or as though in a sentence, we are discussing a hypothetical situation. This means that we are discussing something imaginary that isn't true at the moment of speaking. Now let's look at these examples. He spends money as if he were a millionaire. In the sentence above, he isn't a millionaire, so we use were instead of was. Let's look at the next example. She speaks to me as though I were her husband. In this sentence, the man speaking isn't her husband, so we need to use were in this sentence too. Now let's look at subjunctive mood examples for other hypotheticals. We can also use were to discuss other hypothetical situations. When a situation is hypothetical, you are using your imagination to think about it. In other words, the situation is imaginary. Now let's look at these examples. If every day were my birthday, life would be a constant party. Obviously, he doesn't have a birthday every day, so the situation is imaginary. Let's look at the next example. Maria would have more friends if she weren't so shy. Maria is very shy in reality, so we need to use were in the above sentence. Let's move on now to the subjunctive mood exercises. Here are the instructions. Make grammatically correct subjunctive mood sentences out of the words on each screen. Note that the words are not in the correct order. The answers and explanations 
are provided after each question. Here is question one. Remember to put the words in the correct order to form a sentence in the subjunctive mood. Now pause to answer. Let's have a look at the answer. The correct answer is, if I were you, I would mention it to my boss. You will notice in the words on question one that the pronoun I is mentioned twice. Therefore, we need to put the sentence in this order. Alternatively, you could have made the inverted form of the sentence, I would mention it to my boss if I were you. Now let's have a look at question two. Please pause to answer. The correct answer is, were I in your position, I would study more. You will notice that we do not have the word if in the words provided. Therefore, we need to begin the sentence with were at the head of the sentence. Alternatively, you could invert this sentence to read, I would study more were I in your position. Now have a look at question three. Please pause to answer. Here is the answer to question three. Were I you, I would go on a diet. Again, you will notice that the word if is not provided in the words for question three. Therefore, we need to begin the sentence with were at the head of the sentence. You could also invert the sentence to read, I would go on a diet were I you. Now we'll go to question four. Please pause to answer. Moving on now to the answer to question four. The correct answer is, if I were in your shoes, I would calm down. We know from the word shoes on question four that we need the phrase in your shoes. We also notice that the word if is provided and the pronoun I is given twice. Therefore, we need to form the sentence in this order. Alternatively, you could invert the sentence to read, I would calm down if I were in your shoes. Let's move on to question five. Now press pause to answer. Let's have a look at the answer to question five. The correct answer is, if I were in your situation, I would speak to him. Alternatively, we could invert the sentence to read, I would speak to him if I were in your situation. We know that we need to use the phrase in your situation here because of the word situation in the words for question five. Now move on to question six. Please pause to answer. Let's have a look at the answer to question six. The correct answer is, I wish it were sunny every day. We have the word wish in the words for question six, so we know we need to structure the sentence, I wish it. This sentence is simply in the subjunctive mood. It does not have any of the phrases we have talked about, nor does it try to give advice. We'll have a look now at question seven. Please press pause to answer. 
the correct answer for question seven is she drives as if nobody else were on the road we know that we have to use the as if construction here because of the word as in the words for question seven moving on to question eight please pause to answer the correct answer to question eight is my boss treats me as though i were his slave here we have the as though construction and again we can determine this because of the word as in the words for question eight we'll move on now to question nine now pause to answer we'll have a look now at the answer to question nine the correct answer is if john were taller he could have been a basketball player alternatively we could structure the sentence john could have been a basketball player if he were taller we are not giving advice in this sentence we are merely stating the subjunctive mood using were and could have been finally we'll have a look at question ten now pause to answer we'll have a look now at the correct answer to question ten the answer is if sam were confident he would have been the manager alternatively we could structure the sentence sam would have been the manager if he were confident we know that we need to use the subjunctive form here because of the word were in question ten and also because of the words would have been that is the end of the subjunctive examples with subjunctive mood exercises in english grammar video thanks so much for joining us and please remember to subscribe to our channel for more great grammar practice videos.